Uh, good morning. Uh, uh, we are uh, going to start our uh, lecture on discovery of uh, new bioactive compounds. And uh, these uh, compounds, uh, over the period of time, I discovered with many international uh, collaborators. Uh, here, uh, I would like to discuss with you uh, on discovery of a, uh, of a, uh, a macrocyclic lactam antibiotic from uh, lysovector species. Lysovector, uh, we isolated uh, this uh, bacterium from the root of sugar beet. Uh, here uh, you can see lysovector and here is the aphanomyces cochloides. Aphanomyces cochloides is a damping of uh, causing a pathogen in sugar beet and spinach, a dangerous pathogen. Uh, and sugar, uh, from the root of sugar beet, we isolated the lysovector. When we tested uh, the activity of lysovector species, uh, SBK8H strain uh, on agar plate, it uh, showed a powerful inhibitory activity against the aphanomyces cochlidis mycelia. You can see clear inhibition zone. And here you can see the, around the uh, colony of lysovector, no uh, mycelia of aphanomyces uh, are grown. That means it produces uh, some uh, antimicrobial compound, that is anti-aphanomyces compound uh, to stop the uh, mycelial growth. When we uh, checked uh, by using light microscope, we found that in case of, for example, this part, no inhibition, uh, mycelia of aphanomyces grow, grow like this. Uh, that means polar growth with a small branching. But in case of uh, this part, uh, when we focus this part, that is inhibited part or this part, we found that mycelia of aphanomyces become uh, curling they are curled and hyperbranched. Uh, this curling and hyperbranching uh, is uh, probably due to the uh, secretion of a, a, an antibiotic from the uh, lysovector species. And to search this compound, uh, we uh, used, you know, uh, the, uh, we used the, uh, big uh, fermentation, you know, we cultured the uh, SBK8 in a big fermenter uh, and then uh, extracted with ethyl acetate. After extracting with ethyl acetate, uh, we used different chromatographic methods and finally discovered that this macrocyclic lactam antibiotic uh, is involved in uh, growth inhibition, curling, and excessive branching uh, in aphanomyces uh, hyphae. And it was a new antibiotic, uh, and it, 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 uh, it was the active principle of growth inhibition by the SBK88 against the aphanomyces cochloides. And uh, this uh, structure elucidation of this compound was very complicated, you can see lots of chiral uh, points, uh, stereo structures, you know, this is why it took a very long time to elucidate, completely elucidate the structure. And we named it Genthobexin A, 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 a you know, tetramic acid containing a macrocyclic lactam antibiotic, here not teramic, tetramic acid, and it is a polycyclic compound macrocyclic compound. And we published this paper in, in uh, Applied in Environmental Microbiology. When we used uh, the SBK88 uh, as well as, uh, you know, uh, Tachigaren is a, a synthetic, uh, uh, you know, pesticide against Aphanomyces cochlidis and control. Here you see in pre uh, presence of Tachigaren and SBK88, both uh, ha have high control of the uh, disease. 
uh, and uh, uh, that means uh, uh, SBK8 is a powerful biocontrol agent which produces uh, Gentoo vaccine A uh, and uh, suppress the uh, disease and control the plant uh, of uh, sugar beet. Uh, uh, here is the you know bacteria. When we uh, uh, you know uh, treat the seeds with the bacteria. Uh, uh, and uh, we found that uh, it can control the disease. Uh, then we asked a question uh, whether these bacteria can colonize uh, on the root or not. Or when seed germinate on the root surface, really it colonized or not. Here you can see a sugar beet uh, leaf and sugar beet, uh, tomato root, Arabidopsis thaliana, uh, and uh, uh, you know, uh, sugar beet. Uh, root, uh, uh, they are highly colonized uh, by this uh, bacteria when we treat seeds with the bacteria. One interesting point uh, uh, to notice uh, you that all the bacteria colonized on the root surface perpendicularly, that is bacteria standing on the surface of the root, which was very uncommon and uh, no reference was there, uh, that is a rod-shaped bacteria, um, uh, you know, uh, colonized plant root or leaf perpendicularly. Uh, and it was a big question. And these uh, images are taken by scanning electron microscope. And uh, in the, uh, you know, our scientific meeting, uh, uh, all the members, they thought it is an artifact, not a fact, not science, uh, because there was no analogy that a rod-shaped bacteria can uh, stand on the surface of the root. And this is why uh, we did uh, transmission electron microscopy. Here you can see this rod-shaped bacterium has a brush-like fimbri. Here is structure, protein appendages on its one pole. Other pole is free. That means these protein appendages, fimbri, Fimbri are used to attach the, uh, you know, uh, plant by the uh, bacterium. So uh, as one pool is highly uh, uh, containing fimbri, these fimbris are used to uh, colonize perpendicularly. So this was a very interesting and new discovery uh, in uh, science. Now question is, what is the benefit of, uh, you know, perpendicular attachment? A benefit was, you know, in a given space, more bacteria can be colonized. That means more biocontrol is possible. So this trait is very interesting. We do not know the molecular mechanism of this uh, trait, but it is very uh, useful for higher biological activity. Uh, and here, uh, this uh, image I showed you in earlier lecture, plant probiotic bacteria uh, in the dual culture against Phytophthora capsici, you see Phytophthora capsici uh, growth is inhibited. And obviously here also uh, some new antibiotics are produced by the BTL uh, K6, which suppresses uh, the, uh, you know, Phytophthora capsici and protect the uh, plant from the, uh, you know, uh, infection by the uh, Phytophthora capsici. Phytophthora capsici is a powerful, uh, you know, uh, root rot and damping of causing pathogen. Here, cucumber seedlings are survived. But we didn't discover the antibiotic uh, produced by the BTLK6. Uh, it is a bacillum, basically, uh, bacillus species. Obviously, a new antibiotic could be discovered from this, uh, you know, uh, strain. Uh, here uh, you see we published a paper in Journal of Antibiotics. Some of your friends uh, 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 have chosen a, a paper from Journal of Antibiotics published by Nature Group. This is a very nice journal. We discovered Khatmiamycin. We na named this compound Khatmiamycin, a motility inhibitor and juice puricide against the grapevine downy mildew pathogen Plasmopara viticola from Streptomyces species. Streptomyces species ANK313 
uh, this is a strain of streptomyces you know streptomycin is just a mine of uh, new antibiotics uh, we uh, uh, you know, uh, cultured this uh, streptomyces uh, strain in liquid broth and extracted with ethyl acetate. And finally, by using chromatography, purified a compound, and by using spectroscopic method, NMR and other spectroscopic method, we discovered this simple structure and named it cadmiumycin. And it was a new antibiotic. When we used this cadmiumycin uh, in a, a grapevine downy mildew pathogen, we found that it can uh, cause lysis uh, as well as motility inhibition, high motility inhibition and lysis of the juice pore at 60, uh, you know, uh, within 60 minutes at a very low concentration, micromolar concentration. Uh, it means that this compound is a powerful antibiotic against the downy mildew pathogen and it could be used as a uh, you know biocontrol uh, agent against the uh, uh, downy mildew pathogen so this was another uh, new discovery we published in journal of antibiotics here uh, you see uh, we discovered uh, uh, Gagutatrins A, B, and C, three compounds, new compounds. They are non cytotoxic antimicrobial linear lipopeptides. We tested them against the cell line and we found them all are non cytotoxic. That is, a human cell line is not, uh, you know, affected by these antibiotics. But these linear lipopeptides significantly inhibited. Uh, the, uh, you know, uh, juice pool of the, uh, uh, how to say, uh, Phytophthora capsici. And uh, they were discovered from Bacillus subtilis, a marine a bacterium uh, uh, discovered from the uh, marine environment of South Korea. We collaborated this work with Professor uh, Shin uh, of, uh, uh, you know, uh, South Korea. And uh, we, uh, we, uh, these are the structural feature of the, uh, you know, gagutectins A and C. And gagutectin B also showed uh, inhibitory activity and biocontrol activity against the wheat blast fungus. Recently, Motoshi and co-workers, uh, our group, Motoshi published a paper in Frontiers and Microbi uh, uh, Microbiology. Here you see gagutectins A and C, A to C. A to C means A, B, C, three compounds. A unique class of linear lipopeptide consisting of di and uh, tetrapeptides and a new fatty acid are isolated from marine bacillus subtilis. The structure of uh, a, a, one, two, three, uh, that means A, B, and C, uh, are assigned by spectroscopic data. Spectroscopic data mean uh, NMR, uh, uh, UV, uh, IR, and all others, uh, spectroscopic methods, mass spectra uh, also. And they are absolute stereochemistry. That means CTOR also used uh, to ascertain by chemical derivatization, not only uh, you know, stereochemical data and spectroscopic method, we used uh, you know, chemical derivatization, that means acetylation and other derivatives are prepared and then uh, their structure are elucidated. That means synthetic approach also used to confirm the structure. Compound uh, one, three displayed good antimicrobial activities with MIC values, uh, sorry, uh, with MIC values uh, 0 0.01 to 0 0.06 micromolar. However, these compounds fail to register any cytotoxicity uh, up to three, uh, 30 microgram per ml against human cancer cell lines. That means they are not, you know, anti-cancerous, but they are antimicrobial. As I mentioned, uh, you they are, uh, they have been found very powerful, you know, antibiotic against Phytophthora capsici. Phytophthora capsici uh, is a, a, a powerful. Uh, you know, uh, 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 
agent uh, uh, causing the root rot and damping of disease in many plants, cucumber, uh, ca uh, ca uh, you know, uh, capsicum, and many other solanaceous plants. And we published this paper in Organic Letters uh, in uh, 2014. And Organic Letter, uh, Letters is a very famous uh, journal published by American Chemical Society. Uh, let us see another story. Uh, we discovered uh, Gagu peptides, uh, Gagu peptides A to D, A, B, C, D, four compounds from uh, Bacillus strain, uh, one of the Bacillus strain. Uh, it is also a marine uh, Bacillus, and we isolated uh, the compounds, these compounds, and elucidate the structure. Uh, they are non, they are also non cytotoxic, uh, but antifungal. And we found that they are powerful against the, you know, Phytophthora capsaicin, like the previous KGO tetrins, and the activity minimum inhibitory concentration was 0 0.04 to 0 0.08 micromolar. And uh, they, they uh, also showed uh, activity against Rhizoctonia solani, Botrytis cinerea, Colitruticum, uh, you know, Equitatum, these are other plant pathogenic fungus, uh, you know, including Phytophthora capsaicin. You know that Phytophthora uh, 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 is a, a Peronosporomycete uh, organism, uh, plant pathogenic organism, and it is not a, a fungus. It is below. Uh, it belongs to the uh, different kingdom, not fungal kingdom, Staminopila. They are fungus-like, morphologically like fungus, but uh, phylogenetically they are distinct. So these compounds here you can see Gagu uh, peptide A. How these are linear, small, uh, you know, peptide Gagu pepti uh, 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 you know, peptide B, and they showed motility inhibition and lysis of juice body. Previously, I discussed why we focus the motility inhibition because motility inhibition of juice food. Uh, is critical for controlling the disease because if a juice spore cannot be motile, then it cannot find the host plant and uh, cannot cause the uh, disease. Uh, as a result, uh, just stopping the motility uh, uh, is uh, uh, enough to uh, stop the infection by the juice spore phytopathogens. But uh, this, uh, these uh, compound, um, especially uh, this one, Gagopeptide A, showed lysis activity. Lysis means totally killing the cell, disrupting the cell uh, membrane and cause lysis meant burst or uh, breakdown of the cell. But Gagu peptide B didn't show any lysis activity. Uh, that means you see structurally quite similar, but uh, there are some differences here. Uh, and this is why they show different biological activity. Slight structural change in, the, uh, in any uh, you know, uh, bioactive natural product uh, can dramatically change the biological activity. Not only, you know, substitution of, uh, you know, uh, any radical or, uh, uh, you know, uh, from the structure, but also stereochemical uh, difference. Uh, uh, for example, uh, here, uh, uh, if stereochemically one, pla uh, one place is different, uh, uh, you know, in 3D structure, but all the uh, structural features are same, even though they can show the different biological activity. Uh, we also discovered micro, uh, macrocyclic trichothecins from uh, Myrothecium uh, roridum uh, strain M10 uh, uh, as motility inhibitor and juice uh, puri side uh, against the Phytophthora nicotiani. Uh, the cytotoxicity of the extract obtained from Myrothesium roridum uh, M10 and a, a characteristic, uh, you know, uh, these are the, you know, a spectroscopic method we use to elucidate the structure. It is described here, but uh, no need to uh, memorize. But what you can understand that uh, uh, Myrothesium uh, roridum is a fungus, and we also discovered uh, you know, motility inhibitor and juice puricidal compound from uh, this endophytic fungus from the uh, uh, plant. Uh, similarly, uh, 
Bencrumin and uh, other secondary metabolites we uh, discovered from an endophytic fungus, Fusarium, uh, obtained from Piper, uh, uh, you know, uh, Guiner, uh, uh, Guinans, uh, and it is, uh, uh, the, uh, this uh, interesting compound showed, uh, you know, inhibitory activity against Plasmopara viticola juospores, and uh, paper was published in uh, Tetrahedral Letters. And the previous one uh, published in a uh, journal of, uh, 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 you know, agricultural and food chemistry. Uh, this is a very good journal published by the American Chemical uh, Society. And this paper uh, published by the LCBR. Uh, and you can find these papers uh, in the internet, the detailed paper, and you can study if you are interested. This is another interesting paper we published in FEMS Microbiology uh, uh, Letters, uh, FEMS Microbiology Letters in uh, uh, 2016. Uh, we discovered, you know, oligomycin, uh, pamamycin, uh, uh, and uh, echinosporin, and these compounds showed a uh, juospericidal activity against Plasmopara viticola, and these compounds uh, uh, can uh, you know, uh, block the uh, uh, mitochondrial respiration. Uh, uh, as a result, juice pool cannot get the ATP uh, 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 through the metabolism of the lipid. As a result, uh, you know, uh, juice pool motility stop. Pamamycin, this is an, uh, you know, uh, uh, interesting compound that, uh, which block the uh, uh, ion channel. And as a result, uh, you know, uh, block the signal transduction pathway of juospore motility as a result juospore motility stop. So these are the secondary metabolites we discovered uh, from the nature, especially uh, from streptomyces. The, all these compounds are discovered from the streptomyces species, different strain of streptomyces species that showed uh, motility inhibitory activities. Another paper we published, you know, uh, um, uh, in uh, frontiers uh, in microbiology, very interesting inhibitory effects of macrotetrolyte. Macrotetrolyte, these are macrotetrolyte, these compounds, you know, nonactin, monactin, dinactin, trinactin, a cyclic compound, very interesting. Uh, macrotetrolyte, uh, uh, we discovered from the streptomyces species on juice porogenesis. They block the juice porogenesis process and motility of the peronosporomycetes juice pool. And we also looked at the mechanism, how they block the juice porogenesis process. We found that they, you know, uh, they uh, enhance the ATPase activity. They, uh, they enhance the activity of ATPS. Uh, ATPS activity is involved in, uh, you know, a generation of uh, a a a a ATP. Uh, a, 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 you know, breakdown of the ATP to uh, release the energy. So uh, higher, uh, you know, ATPase activity uh, eliminate the uh, steady supply of uh, ATP for the motility of juice pool. And uh, it is, uh, 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 you know, linear compounds uh, of this uh, cyclic structure, they also showed activity, but uh, uh, the cyclic compounds showed higher activity. Uh, so uh, structure activity relationship, uh, uh, when we considered, we found that this linear structure is, uh, you know, uh, required, uh, uh, but cyclic structure uh, best fit to the receptor. This is why higher activity they showed. Uh, Gagu peptins A and B, uh, new inhibitors, uh, you know, uh, peptins uh, here, uh, uh, these two peptins also showed uh, activity against the phytophthora capsicin, uh, and uh, uh, these two compounds also discovered from Bacillus species, uh, uh, a strain of Bacillus species, uh, uh, and this strain was discovered, uh, isolated from a marine environment. That means marine uh, environment is a reservoir of many, uh, you know, microorganisms that possess uh, or contain uh, novel bioactive compounds. Uh, 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 interestingly, or unfortunately, in fact, uh, in our Bay of Bengal, uh, most of the marine microorganisms are untouched, not yet been uh, 
uh, explored for their secondary uh, metabolites and uh, there is a high chance of getting uh, new antibiotics from the, our marine environment uh, and uh, uh, especially soil and other organisms, marine organisms like sponge, uh, bacteria, uh, as well as marine uh, you know, cucumber, sea cucumber, and uh, sea urchin. So these compounds we discovered and published in bioorganic and medicinal chemistry letters. Uh, uh, we uh, published uh, uh, publish a book, you know, basically in agrobiotechnology. And this book, uh, if you want, uh, uh, you can find this book available in internet. Lots of, you know, biopesticides uh, discovered from uh, different bacillus, uh, species uh, are described in this book. Uh, these are not so interesting for you. Uh, so thank you very much. I am very much thankful to uh, many uh, collaborators uh, who significantly contributed and uh, supported our research. Uh, uh, this is all about uh, today's lecture. Uh, and uh, you can ask the question. Let us discuss a little more. So please ask your question, unmute uh, yourself and ask question. Assalamualaikum sir. Assalamualaikum sir. Sir, Muaj. Uh, Muaj, please. Sir, uh, I uh, learned today the streptomyces, streptomyces species are uh, the mine of uh, uh, biotic material products and uh, they are highly active uh, highly uh, active against different pathogen sir uh cadmiumycin or nonactin monactin etc are the uh, source from um, streptomyces sir uh, my question is about sir streptomyces is a single uh, species but they produce a lot of uh, uh, natural compounds, which are act, uh, which are potently activity uh, active in against pathogens. Sir, is there any chance of uh, combined effect of these compounds? That, like, if you uh, if we use this streptomyces raw or crude extract, then find uh, more activity against pathogens. Uh, interesting question. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Mujahid. Actually, Streptomyces is a genus, Streptomyces. Uh, it has lots of, you know, species. So Streptomyces species means it is a genus. Uh, 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 species is, uh, uh, are, you know, hundreds of species are, are present there. And Streptomyces, uh, even in the same species, different environment, they biosynthesize different compounds. Uh, and uh, uh, obviously it is a mine of uh, new, uh, you know, bioactive compounds. And you perhaps uh, uh, know uh, the name of Professor Satoshi Omura uh, uh, in Japan. Uh, he got Nobel Prize for discovery of uh, more than 400 uh, new uh, bioactive compounds, antibiotics from the streptomyces and it is uh, mostly soil inhibiting bacteria, but it can be found everywhere and it is ubiquitous. And your question is, if we use the crude extract that contain, you know, mixture of hundreds of compounds, whether we can get, uh, you know, higher activity or not, uh, you know, if hundred of compounds uh, are present in the mixture, uh, and uh, you do not know which compound has, you know, positive effect, which compound has negative effect, which compound uh, synergize the activity of other compound or antagonize the other compound. In that case, crude extract uh, will show you, uh, obviously, uh, the activity, uh, but uh, it is not sure that you can get higher activity. Uh, uh, it may, uh, uh, you may get the higher activity, but uh, may not uh, because uh, uh, the receptor of the, you know, ta your target organism cell uh, uh, 
uh, how many compounds are bind with the receptors and how many receptors are activated, uh, you don't know. Uh, in that case, you cannot precisely predict because each compound has, uh, you know, or each group of compound has a specific receptor to uh, bind with the membrane and show the activity. So in that case, crude extract, uh, uh, some compounds may be toxic for the you know, cell and some compound may be beneficial for the cell. So uh, uh, use of crude extract, you cannot guarantee and you cannot uh, uh, thoroughly understand uh, the biological activity, which compounds are governed by. Uh, in that case, bioassay guided isolation and purification of the compounds, and then you can combine the compound to see the synergistic or antagonistic, antagonistic activity would be nice. Uh, but uh, crude extracts sometimes show higher activity than the pure compound, possibly due to the, uh, you know, uh, synergistic effects of several compounds present in the crude mixture. Uh, thank you very much. Sir, <coughs> sir, then how we target the act, uh, active compound uh, from a mixture of compounds? So firstly, we try a bioassay guided, uh, bioassay, uh, uh, so then we find the, the pathogen, the, the bacteria has, uh, uh, bacteria is active. And then we, we, we target the compounds. Then how we target the uh, active compound? The bacteria produce a lot of compounds. Then what is the active compound? How can we target? Uh, this is an uh, interesting compound. Already I discussed, you know, chromatographic procedures. What you can do uh, for any, you know, organism uh, you target to get, uh, you know, bioactive compounds. Bioactive means you should have a target. For example, you want to discover uh, a, a compound which is inhibitory against a cancer cell uh, or uh, it is inhibitory against the quid blast fungus. So you ne uh, need to use uh, some, uh, you know, uh, cell uh, uh, or organism uh, uh, to test uh, uh, first the crude extract. So uh, by using crude extract, if you see your cancer cell line uh, uh, cannot proliferate and inhibited uh, to multiply, that means crude extract uh, contain uh, 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 inhibitory substance. In that case, you do uh, first, you know, chromatography uh, and fractionate. Uh, uh, for, for example, by using column chromatography, you uh, can see you can collect different fraction and test which fraction contain your inhibitory compound. Uh, because fractions are nearly pure compound, only two or three mi uh, compound mixture or sometimes pure compound. So uh, then you can narrow down uh, the mixture. And uh, if you find certain fractions uh, show the biological activity, then combine those fractions and do again the chromatography. There are different chromatographic methods and then each fraction you can test. And you can even use the ACE PLC to purify each compound and test uh, which compound is active. So bioassay guided fractionation means uh, you do fractionation uh, by using, uh, you know, a chromatography and then do bio, uh, bio test the fraction and only active fraction you keep and uh, inactive fractions you remove uh, from your study. And gradually you reach to the uh, pure compound and, uh, and it, uh, if it is a, a new biological activity or new chemical structure, then it is a big discovery. Uh, and uh, this is the way uh, we discover bioactive natural product from the, uh, any source. Uh, it may be, you know, uh, no, uh, not only secondary metabolite, it may be a protein, it may be a peptide, uh, it may be, uh, you know, a, an, a, a fatty acid or any, a, anything else. Uh, that means any chemical structure, uh, if it is active by using, a, you know, bioassay guided fractionation using suitable chromatographic method, depending on the, uh, you know, ta your target compound or, uh, or the mixture of the compound, you can finally uh, uh, reach to the conclusion and finally get the chemical structure by uh, elucidating uh, with the uh, spectroscopic method. 
Thank you. Thank you, sir. Sir Farhan. Yes, Farhana. Sir, I have a question. Uh, I want to know if the uh, uh, <coughs> compound uh, have the chance of uh, growing resistance, increasing resistance. Then what will we have to do? How we uh, minimize the uh, resistance effect? Suppose uh, cardiopeptin is uh, showing uh, not not inhibiting the uh, uh, juice for uh, motility or causing disease. This kind of uh, case, uh, what will uh, uh, we do uh, if the resistance is uh, uh, if there is no resistance or increasing resistance? I understood, uh, Farhana. Your question is, uh, if we use a uh, gagutectin uh, A against the phytophthora capsis juice pool, whether phytophthora capsis juice pool can develop the resistance against that natural compound or not? And if develops, then what we can do? This is a very good question. In case of any uh, application of any, uh, you know, a pure compound, when you apply to uh, any organisms, uh, microorganisms, microorganisms always tend to fight against that, you know, toxin or inhibitory compound. And over the years, if you repeatedly use, indiscriminately use the same uh, compound as a pesticide or fungicide, uh, there is a chance uh, to mutate, uh, uh, mutation in the, uh, you know, target organism. Mutation means it changed the receptor and then your compound cannot bind to the, uh, you know, target organism and it, uh, it can show the resistance. That means you use the gagotectin uh, at very high concentration, but it cannot show any activity because it's uh, target site already uh, been changed genetically by the organisms. And it takes time, not, you know, in a day, this type of mutation can be developed. It takes several years uh, uh, to uh, develop such a resistance. In that case, you have nothing to do. What you have to do, you have to discover a new, uh, you know, active compound. Uh, 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 then you can uh, develop a new uh, fungicide uh, or pesticide against your target, uh, you know, organism. You know, many of the uh, antibiotics uh, are, uh, you know, uh, uh, not, uh, effective against uh, our uh, diseases, human diseases, uh, due to antibiotic resistance. Antibiotic resistance is a serious problem and a big threat uh, for the, uh, you know, pharmaceutical industry as well as our health. Because sometimes a pharmaceutical industry discover an uh, antibiotic uh, uh, by investing billions of dollars dollar because you know, thousands of uh, candidate, uh, candidates are uh, used in, a, uh, in the uh, practical uh, uh, real life, uh, uh, you know, uh, trial. And finally, one or two gets the success as a medicine or drug. In that case, investment uh, of the pharmaceutical com company is very, very high, billions of dollars. Uh, if uh, within a year or two or three uh, resistance is developed, then pharmaceutical company uh, uh, loses huge money. Uh, this is why they are now discouraged to discover new antibiotic due to the antibiotic resistance. And if there is no antibiotic, we cannot survive in this world. Antibiotic is uh, antibiotics are obviously the life-saving drug. Uh, you cannot uh, go for surgery or you cannot uh, fight against any, uh, you know, microorganism without antibiotic. Antibiotic after the discovery of uh, penicillin by Alexander, uh, Sir Alexander Fleming, uh, uh, it, it, it uh, uh, was uh, a big journey and thousands of antibiotics have been discovered and we are using now many antibiotics. Even, you know, uh, COVID-19 when infects human, uh, many secondary uh, microorganisms than uh, pneumonia causing uh, pathogens, uh, you know, infect the human. This is why many antibiotics are being uh, used uh, in the uh, uh, for the patient, so, so to save uh, 
uh, uh, the human from other, uh, you know, secondary and tertiary infections. Uh, it is very interesting question, uh, but uh, we uh, ha we ha we can be uh, puzzled if antibiotic resistance is developed and you cannot. Uh, uh, you know, uh, stop this process. Antibiotic resistance is a natural process uh, to overcome the stress of the antibiotics by the organism. But human always discover new antibiotic and it is a long journey. This is why discovery of bio, uh, the need for the discovery of bioactive natural products will never be ended. Uh, uh, it will continue and uh, new antibiotics, new drugs, new agrochemicals you discover and uh, the resistance will be developed by the target organism. Then you discover another new and this new, new, new will continue. Thank you, sir. <coughs> uh, welcome, Farhana. Next. Any question? Very yes, interesting. Yes. Our, uh, you know, uh, this lecture is recording, so it is better to uh, discuss only the academic matters uh, related to this lecture. Any more question? If no more question. Sir, I have another question. Yes. If lysis occur, then uh, the uh, cell surrounding the uh, uh, cell who is uh, where it is uh, lysis, uh, is there any uh, harm effect of the uh, cell uh, around the disease cell? Lysis means uh, uh, if uh, it is targeted lysis, if a compound uh, only uh, can cause the lysis of juiceful, not the plant cell and other cell, uh, then it is uh, uh, very nice. Uh, and uh, lysis uh, means somehow it binds to, uh, to the, uh, you know, cell membrane or cell wall components and degradate them uh, and structurally, you know, uh, lose the osmotic uh, uh, pressure in the uh, 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 interior of the cell and cellular materials coming out. And if a compound is uh, uh, causing lysis of the juice pool, uh, it uh, should be a powerful, you know, uh, pesticide uh, and uh, it, it should not allow uh, the uh, juice pool to, you know, uh, adapt quickly. So it would be an effective uh, you know, uh, the uh, pesticide. Thank you. Any more question? Have you heard about strobilurine? Strobilurine uh, is a, a, you know, interesting uh, secondary metabolite discovered from a, a, you know, fungus mushroom in uh, Japan. And uh, now uh, most of the fungicides we are using, they are the derivatives of uh, strobilurines. And uh, strobilurines uh, like azoxystrobin, I tested against the juice pool, they can cause lysis of the uh, juice pool. And they, uh, uh, this uh, class of compound uh, basically, you know, inhibit the uh, energy uh, 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 transmission process that is electron transport chain. Uh, uh, it inhibit the quinone uh, present in the uh, electron trans uh, involved in electron transport chain. And these compounds are very powerful fungicide, broad spectrum fungicide. But uh, recently, uh, uh, resistance against stobil uh, stobilurines also uh, is seen. So please browse. Uh, the internet uh, and get more information about uh, strobilurines type, uh, you know, fungicides and their mode of action. Uh, uh, as it is commercially available, I am not discussing uh, uh, much. Any more question? If no question, then, uh, if no question, uh, then uh, I shall uh, stop the lecture here uh, and I wish you uh, uh, have a a uh, good day. Uh, thank you very much.